ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 49 Compare and Combine As well as making amendments in a single document and reviewing them, it is possible to make the amendments in a separate copy of the document and then combine the amended version with the original. All changes will be highlighted and can be accepted or rejected as before. In this way, input from several reviewers can be merged then processed in one operation. Let's assume for the purposes of this exercise that you've sent copies of an original document which is called review which looks like this. This has been sent to two colleagues for review and they've returned their results as a file called R1 and a file called R2. So let's have a quick look at those. This is R1 which we can see has had a change made over here and also one down here. Let's now look at R2. As can be seen in the second paragraph there's three words that have been taken out and then there's some extra words put in at the end of that particular paragraph. Also further down the page an extra sentence has been added at the end of the section entitled chat. If we start with a blank Microsoft Word document what we want to do is to compare these particular files. So first thing go for review Towards the end of the ribbon you'll find the button which is compare. We're going to go combine. Now for the original document we want to put in the file called review and in the revised document we're going to browse to find R1. If you have the more button available then click on it so that we open up the comparison settings and whether we should ch show changes or not. This is what you'll probably see on your screen to start with. If you click on the more we're going to make some changes down here. In the show changes section at the bottom make sure you're selected on original document and then at that point you can click OK. You'll now find that the changes from R1 are actually highlighted in the document. So we can see here at the end of the first paragraph we've got data is transmitted using existing telephone networks and further down we've got another extra sentence that's been added. If we do get an extra panel appearing on the left of the screen, select compare again and then show source documents and then hide source documents. Let's now compare with R2 as well. So to do this again from the review tab we want to go for compare and then combine. This time the original document is again going to be review Though for the revised document we're now looking at the R2. So let's find the R2, there it is. Press OK and now what we'll find is that the amendments that were suggested by both reviewers are now included in one document though you will see they're differentiated by colour from the original text. If we move the pointer over the added text in the first paragraph we'll see that this has been inserted by Bob Browell and it gives the date and also what the amendment was. If we go along to the second paragraph, the one that's in purple rather than blue, we'll now see this one was Bill Barnacle and again it says what the words were that were added in and also the date and time that those were put in. All the features described in the previous exercise such as next, accept, reject and the reviewing pane can be used now. Click at the top of the document and if we click next 
we can then either accept or reject that particular amendment. For the purposes of this, what I'd like to do is to accept all of the amendments all in one go. So click on accept. Do accept all changes and stop tracking. What that will then mean that all tracking marks are then removed. And as we see, now that I've pressed that, those amendments have been incorporated in the original document. Okay, the final thing to do is to save this. We're going to save it not as review, but as reviewed with ED on the end. Okay, if you could save that please, and I look forward to seeing you next time.